Smoke weed every day. After a four year absence, Shawn Michaels made an unprecedented return at SummerSlam to defeat Trump. Oh my god. But the Heartbreak Kid celebration was cut short by the vengeful cerebral assassin. If you look at this video, feels like 2001 dial up and shit. <laughs> this is horrible quality. <laughs> Oh man, this is horrible quality. WWE undisputed champion Brock Lesnar. Hey, Bork Lesnar. Exclusively defend his title on Bork Lesnar. Leaving Raw without a champion. Brock Lesnar. As a result, the World Heavyweight Championship was reinstated on Raw. How was it not reinstated? Then the King of Kings, Triple H. Oh yeah, that's right. Chip uh, Oh yeah, I forgot about Chris Jericho winning both the titles. I forgot. And each became on the sidelines. Triple H ruled Raw as he saw fit. That is, until word of an unprecedented event that would take place at Ah yes, the first ever elimination chamber, yeah. So you say. This match is personal. It's not about titles here tonight. It's all about Kane getting some retribution from a more Now if you're wondering why the entrance is if you wonder why I don't have the entrances on um mainly copyright reasons WWE WWE is um WWE WWE 2K is not really copywriting the theme music for the fucking game so I gotta keep the entrances off I'm basically due to my my career series I've been getting copyright claims for videos for uh, videos using certain songs so yeah I can't I can't I can't I can't play the entrances during these during these during these videos. I gotta get this revenue, bruh. providing a substantial beatdown. I gotta get this revenue. I can't be fucking around like that. Come on, Triple H, really? Oh, I hate train wrestling so much, dog. You cannot get this shit off. I'm still mad at that person in the comment section who said that shit too. Like whoever that was in the comment section, you you are a fucking retard for saying some shit like that. You know you could just turn it off, right? In the settings, you know you just turn off chain wrestling. You cannot turn chain wrestling off. You are a fucking idiot. You probably playing on last gen. That's probably why you can do it. I'm playing on next gen. You dumb fuck. Why do people on last gen think everything is the same on on next gen? Like, come on now. Oh, Triple H, he ran out of stamina and all. Triple H is out of stamina and all. So hey, if I win, no more chain wrestling. Oh, you have to Finally, my God. Was thinking after learning of the video Triple H showed here last week on Raw. Well, I can only assume it has reopened a chapter in their lives Ow. they were hoping to keep closed. But I'm willing to nope. bet they don't see things the same way Triple H does. Reverse. Has made some pretty serious allegations Get your ass up. Get your ass on up. Leg drop you motherfucking ass nigga. Leg drop Monday that ass Raw boy. Oh. Oh. Get slammed. Let me hit you with this, this side slam. And leg drop. No. Now get your ass up. Have you ever been in a casket, Cole? Have you had to? Side slam. 
Now perform the choke slam. Oh, Triple H. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, Kane. Oh, hey, look who it is. Doug, I just hate that fucking hair, dude. Like, they couldn't have, like, there's, n like, they're acting like it's no possible way they could have not got any better looking hair for Triple H. Or at least make it lighter. Like, maybe just make it a little lighter and maybe I wouldn't have such a big problem with the hair. But, bruh, his fucking hair is too fucking dark. Fucking Triple H's hair is too fucking dark. That's that's the one thing I'm having gripes with, man. Even in the John Cena and CM Punk thing, like dude's fucking hair was fucking atrocious. Like they, like I don't know, cause it's like, look at his picture though. Look at his picture. You got him with the cut hair, but then you playing with the one with the hair. Like, come on now. There we go. Oh, after that, you're not seeing stars. You're looking at constellations. Oh, look at the emotion. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Get your ass up. These two men are no strangers. Thumb, thumb, Of course, nobody will ever forget their inferno match just a few years ago on SmackDown. Yeah, these two guys couldn't warm up to each other. Ah, you bitch. How could you ever forget witnessing a superstar's arm nope. going up in flames like Kane's did? Sorry, choke him. Get your ass up. Get your ass up. Oh, this isn't good. There we go. Oh, my. Can you like him or not? You have to admit that since arriving here in WWE in 1997, Kane has cemented himself as one of the most imposing figures this company has ever seen. Well, it certainly can't. And now look at this. Into the casket. He's almost got him. Trying to save himself. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Back to his feet. I press circle. What the fuck? Oh, I gotta do choke slam. That's why. Okay, I see where you're going. I gotta do a choke slam. Oh, okay. So I had to do a choke slam. And now I get the 2002 cane. The 2002 cane. Who nobody gives a fuck about. Kane was never relevant at this time. Oh, look at Shawn Michaels twerking. Oh, they got Shawn Michaels twerking. He don't twerk. Dancing on top of the casket that holds the body of Triple H. How symbolic. 